Hey, what's up? Sam here back with another video. This video is going to be a part 2 to the previous video I did on the Resurrection Remix ROM. Now in this video, I'm pretty much going to be talking about the remaining features found on the ROM as well as my initial impressions thus far. As always guys, thanks for watching these videos, subscribing, it really does mean a lot to me. So yeah, without further ado guys, let's jump into the video. Now this is your quick settings animation right here. With this you can have animations when you touch a tile in the quick settings panel. So it can be flip or rotate. So for example, it does that little flip thing right there. So normally it's one finger down for the quick toggles right here and two finger down for the expanded panel. All right. Now you can have it do a fancy quick setting animation when you pull it down. Also, you can enable the fingerprint quick pull down. So for example, with a swipe of your fingerprint, it all comes down like that. And you can do the quick pull down where if you do the right edge or the left it expands everything instead of having to do it twice all right in advanced this is a lot of customization guys so if you want to touch a tile and get a tactile feedback then you have the option to enable that the brightness slider as you guys know turn it up and down now lock UI, this is pretty much how your phone is going to look when it's on the lock screen. It can show the date, the alarm, clock, media cover art, all that stuff on the lock screen. You can enable and disable it. Alright, now next up is button shortcuts. Now this is pretty much like Android O on the new preview where you can change the lock screen shortcuts. So instead of having this and this right here, you can change it to be something that you prefer. So for example, I always like to have sound held on. Now let's check that out. We well, just need to unlock it. All right, so that's actually not ideal, but let's move on. Upper shortcuts. Oh, we can add an app right here. Let's select, let's say, Allo. And as you can see, Allo is right here. So you can have the lock screen shortcuts here at the bottom as well as at the top. This is pretty cool because normally when you have a pin or a password on your lock screen, you have to enter it and then click the little tick for it to go through. Now with this, I can just put it in and it just automatically unlock the phone without having to press that little check mark. All right. Now you can enable or disable having the power menu pop up on the lock screen. So if I disable this and hold on on the power menu, nothing will happen. All right. Now switching over to gestures, this is where you can create a gesture to open any application or activity on your screen. So let's go ahead and enable that. Now how this works is with a trigger area, so if you just swipe from the left, it will bring it up and you can do a gesture. So let's go ahead and add a gesture right here. Add gesture, applications, now click on allo and let's just say we wanted to do an A. Click done and go back, so if we just swipe out. That A and it'll bring up Allo. All right, so that's pretty cool. Let's move on. Now, the next thing we have is App Circle Bar. Now, that's pretty much like the sidebar right here, but instead of a sidebar, it's going to be a circle. So, if we enable that, you'll see it pop up right here. Go ahead and you'll see it right here. So, you can put various apps activities or whatever on that. All right, next up is pie control where you're able to swipe in from the edge to bring up a pie that has shortcuts and various navigation controls, all right? So let's say you wanted to take the navigation bar off and just use pie controls to navigate your way around the UI, you can do that. All right, next up is three finger gesture. With this, you can swipe three fingers on the screen to take a screenshot. That's pretty easy. Next is buttons, navigation bar, so you can control the look of your navigation bar right here. Shut down confirmation dialog. Now normally when you shut down your phone, you go press the power button, click power off and you get this confirmation right here. You can actually disable that if you'd like, all right? Now next up is a volume rocker. Now you can use the volume rocker to wake up your device, answer calls, use it as a playback control for when you listen to music. Now system animation, this is pretty much animation that occurs when you're going into an app exiting or going on the home page, going in the app draw, stuff like that. Now if you want your phone to feel like it's snappier and faster, you can actually disable animations. So for example, it's just like pretty instant, right? Like, see, very snappy, very instant, all right? Let's go back out and see the difference. See, 
give the animation right there. Now we can also create our own animations. So let's go ahead and take this on. So what it does is prevent the apps from overriding the transition that you created. All right. So let's say you want a, a task open animation and we can do slide in right, no fade. All right, moving over, we have the interface. Now we can actually change the font size, display size, blur personalization for the UI, expand the desktop, ambient display. Now it's a screenshot, crop and share. Now, if you enable this, once you take a screenshot, it will just bring up if you want to crop it or share it instantly. So for example, so once you take the screenshot, it will bring up this window here. You can delete it, save it, share it, crop it, whatever. Next is miscellaneous. All right, this is fingerprint authentication vibration. So if you put your fingerprint to unlock the phone, it's gonna vibrate. You can turn that on and off right here. In call, do not disturb. Now what this pretty much does is uh, with the Nougat update, once you're on a call, your phone goes in do not disturb mode. So you can actually enable or disable this, all right? So all right guys, now this right here, this is absolutely awesome. I've actually never seen this in a custom ROM before. It has a built-in system app remover. Oh my gosh, like all of you Samsung guys need to get this. So if you have a phone with limited amounts of storage, then you can actually go in here and delete some of the stuff them that you don't need. But be careful because some of these are very integral to the operation of your device, all right? Now that's pretty much it guys. The last one here is just the about page where you get information about the ROM website the forums facebook google plus pages if you want to donate definitely go ahead and donate because it's a very awesome round okay guys this was a very long video and it does come pre-rooted it's based on cyanogen mod and yeah this is the resurrection remix guys i do hope you enjoyed it i do hope you download this rom if you're thinking about checking out a rom that has a lot of customization features definitely give this one a look yeah, that was the Resurrection Remix ROM. As you can tell, it is chock full of customizations. If you want a ROM that has customizations, you definitely have to get this ROM on your device. That's a pretty stable ROM and it hasn't had any issues with performance thus far. However, there's one main bug that I should point out on my Nexus 6P and that is it charges very slowly. Now they've said that this could be fixed by flashing a custom kernel. Now that's something I need to check out and let you guys know when I do the full review. But other than that, this ROM has been pretty awesome thus far. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and if you want to see more content like this, be sure to smash that subscribe button down below. As always guys, you've been awesome. My name is Duck Coin and I'll catch you in the next video.